So I wanted to do a brief review of two cordless clippers or trimmers. Not from the perspective of a barber, because I'm not a barber, but from a, a home a home barber. You know, somebody who likes to cut their own hair, trim themselves up, line themselves up. I give these clippers to my wife. She lines up the back of my head for me. You know, things like that. Originally, I was, I was looking at the wall. Um, it's not the least expensive. It's roughly $200, but you can get it for about $150 on Amazon. Um, 7,200 RPM motor. So it's really a fast motor. Um, it feels nice. It's got a nice textured grip on the back, so it's not slick when you're holding it. Uh, it's got the nice T-shaped blade, as you can see. And it is a, a black blade. Apparently, these black blades are very, very sought after. Uh, the teeth are nice and fine. They're not deep teeth, but this would be a really, really good replacement for my Andy's Skyliner or T-Outliner. Uh, and the thing I really liked about it is that it uses a standard USB-C charging port as well as uh, having a charging base that you can install it on. So if you're thinking about traveling with it, if you have an Android phone or if you have an Android tablet or one of the new iPhones, the same charging cable will charge this device here. And you can get a little over two hours of uh, battery usage on it. It's really nice, feels good, feels high quality. Then I came across this device here. So over here you have the wall. This is the high vise and this is the Babyliss Pro FX1. Um, I really like this one. I was hoping that it also had the USB-C charging cable. Unfortunately it doesn't. Um, but the fact that it feels really nice, it looks nice, and it has the removable battery is the main reason why I think I'm gonna keep this one, All right? So the battery is removable, and what I'm thinking about is longevity. Both of these, I gotta double check the warranty, but I think it's a one year warranty or two year warranty, you could extend those. But if the battery fails on this device after your warranty is up, you have to replace the whole setup. If the battery fails on this device here, all I have to do is replace the battery. The battery is roughly about 50 bucks, right? So I replace the battery, I install it, and I'm back to using the clipper. If this clipper fails, I get a new clipper, but I still have my old battery, right? So for me, although I really, really like the fact that this device here had a USB-C charging port, if I'm traveling, I'm probably not going to be using this as much as I would expect to. You've got three hours of battery life on this continuous. So at any given time, you're probably using it for 10, 15 minutes at a time. You're shutting it off. You're going back and forth. So I, 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 I think I'll be okay without having that. But for those of you who do want real nice convenience, and even at home charging, I mean, think about it. In your bathroom, all you got to do is plug this in. I don't have to have a base sitting on my countertop next to my toothbrush and all the other stuff, right? Um, which is what I'm going to have to do here when I use this one. But it's okay. It's a nice trade-off because I'm thinking long-term, right? I'm thinking long-term. I'm thinking redundancy. I'm thinking if this battery fails, I just get a new one, right? I swap it back in. I don't have to worry about getting a whole brand new clipper. Um, and it's not to say that this clipper is going to fail. I don't know what the battery life is on this. I don't know if this is supposed to last me one year, five years, ten years. But what I do know is that I should be able to replace these batteries. Um, and it does light up as well. So um, if you're considering getting a wireless clipper, again, these are two solid options that are out there. This one does have uh, what folks are really, really raving about when I was watching some reviews, the Graphiter DLC 2.0 blade. Honestly, uh, really all it is, in my opinion, it's coded, right? I think most barbers who are talking about it don't realize what DLC is or, or what the graphite is. Graphite to me is the color. It's a dark gray. DLC is an actual coating that goes on the blade. I don't know if that's supposed to make the, the life of the blade last longer or what, but a stainless steel blade versus a DLC coated blade, to me, I'm not really too concerned about that. I think it's just a matter of looks. But the teeth on this one are deeper which in my opinion means if you have a longer beard or, or longer hair that you're trying to shape up or cut, you'll, you'll likely get a better cut with this one versus the, the slightly less deep teeth on the wall. 
So here you have it, the wall high vise Again, very nice device, feels very good in your hands. Um, and again, you've got the texture grip back here, so it's not gonna slip. You're not gonna zeek yourself and, and, and put a patch on your head. I've done that before. Um, but this device as well, really, really nice grip. You've got the thumb indent here or the, the, the pointer finger indent, uh, indent there. Turn it on, pretty quiet. Um, yeah, both of these are available on Amazon. I'm not sponsored or getting paid by any of these, but uh, if you're trying to figure out where to shop and where to buy these, you can get this one on Amazon, although through Bablis's website, they do have some good deals on some additional accessories. They've got other colors and stuff too. This one is $200, but on Amazon, you can pick it up for, I think, anywhere from $150 or uh, 160 on Prime as a Prime member. So hope this helps you in your shopping.